The American highway system is the envy of the world, carrying 250 million cars and trucks to their destinations across four million miles of roads and more than a half a million bridges. A highway system largely planned, built, owned, and operated by state transportation agencies. To keep improving the system, the State Departments of Transportation work together through a unique partnership, the National Cooperative Highway Research Program, delivering highway innovation for 50 years. NCHRP is really critical to states. I mean, just think about 50 years, and, and if we hadn't had NCHRP in 50 years, we would have developed design standards or barrier standards or other policy things 50 different times. NCHRP helps us come up with the solutions to provide safer, longer lasting roads, whether we're talking about design, construction, rehabilitation, uh, any of the challenges that we're facing. 50 years ago, we could not have imagined what kinds of challenges would face us today. And NCHRP has been able to walk that path on that journey and, and work in a way that, that accommodates those changes and helps the states where they need to be. The National Cooperative Highway Research Program, national in scope, but in reality, a state-owned and state-driven research program, helping states meet the ever-growing challenges of keeping America's highway system number one in the world. Construction of America's historic interstate highway system in the 1960s brought new challenges that no single Department of Transportation could meet by itself. To overcome these challenges, three national organizations came together in 1962 to create NCHRP. The states through the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials are the sponsors and owners of NCHRP. The federal government strongly supported the state's formation of this practical, collaborative research program to improve the nation's highways. And the Transportation Research Board brought to the partnership its respected technical expertise, objectivity, and proven competence in running large complex research efforts, such as the historic national road test conducted in Ottawa, Illinois in the late 1950s. The state's involvement, the state's leadership is critical. Having um, folks from the state DOTs participate on panels, chair panels, um, and help guide uh, the research in an area that we know will be most, uh, most effective um, when the research uh, results come out, I think is absolutely critical to the process. The states are the owners and operators of the highest level transportation system in the United States. And there are primary partners from the Federal Highway Administration. It's really a cooperative effort between the research community, the DOTs, and the industry. It's the state saying these are things that we need to be looked into and NCHRP, can you pull everybody together and get that research done? So the states giving input on their needs is critical to the success of NCHRP. But I think it's the reason it survived 50 years is because it's a state-funded, state-driven way for us to work together and get better. Over the past 50 years, NCHRP has met the objectives of its creators, bringing innovation to every aspect of highway safety, planning, design, environment, construction, operation, and maintenance. The NCHRP program helps us address safety, whether it's uh, an MOT work zone at night where we need some additional research there, or it could be design efficiencies, uh, how to improve our bridge specifications, for example, or it could be ways to calculate congestion. Our state has been able to uh, join in and benefit from many different NCHRP projects. 
in the area of bridge. Uh, bridge construction, bridge maintenance, but particularly for the Pacific Northwest, seismic issues. Also in the area of pavements, uh, we've learned a lot about different kinds of mixed designs and uh, different styles of paving techniques that will improve the longevity of our pavements. The 500 series reports have really provided us with essential information for us to make decisions about how we deploy the different strategies that are being so effective in reducing fatalities. The Green Book, every, the, the, the Bible of highway engineering is a result of an NCHRP program. The Highway Capacity Manual was this revelation in how we designed roadways and got more efficiency out of the roadways. It's now the Bible of highway capacity. Most recently, the Safety Manual. The recent uh, NCHRP report on sustainability and performance measures. If you measure it, it gets done. So that's something that we're interested in. The obvious thing is the great impact of uh, developing the new uh, LRFD specifications uh, that were developed uh, in the late 80s and 90s, implemented in early uh, 2000s. That impacts every bridge design that you have. In my department, we've used some of the findings in areas of geotech, in the area of salt and sand and snow maintenance. In the planning, uh, the planning guide, the, the bicycle information, the transit information. For 50 years, NCHRP has delivered value to the states and the nation in ways almost too numerous to count. In this 50th anniversary year, we celebrate NCHRP and look forward to its next 50 years. I would characterize it as collaborative research, collaborative state-driven research, relevant research. Pick one. Title. It's vital to what we do. Professional, they present the facts. They're not politically oriented. I would say that the NCHRP program is research that produces results. You get specific results, so with the investment that you make, and I really do feel that it is a very, very good investment. It's successful. I think it's efficient. Uh, I think it's effective. Uh, I think it's collaborative. It's amazing. I think it's just amazing that it's turning 50. It's a very young, vibrant program, and I only see great things for the future. Let's keep going. The next 50 years are going to be even better than the first 50. <laughs>